gentlemen, welcome back to the Bucket Fake Tank. And today I want to talk about Batman issue 71. Okay, so let's recap exactly what this issue was. We'll do it real quick, all right? So, Batman puts out a priority alert for the Bat family, Red Bat Signal. Barbara Gordon sees it, says, wait, it's red? Okay, so she contacts everybody. Red Bat Signal is the beacon to lit. Gondor calls for aid. Every member of the Bat family is there except for Batwoman, who is... You know, he's, she, uh, she's way overseas. It'll take about 13 hours to get there, but she's going to come down. Dick Grayson still is, is still calling himself Rick Grayson. Jason is still salty about getting beaten up by Batman and kicked out of Gotham City. So it's pretty much just Batgirl, Signal, Orphan, Robin, Robin, Huntress. I think that's it for the most part. And Batman gives a run exactly what's been going on. Like, okay, so, so Bane has taken over the asylum. Alright, he's convinced everybody that he's just some naked, shriveled husk, but that's not true. He's had me kidnapped, he locked me up to a machine, I escaped, he's released all the criminals that are actually controlling the asylum. We're gonna go there, my lovely bad army, we're gonna beat up Bane, put everybody back in their cells, and expose Bane as, as the fraud he is. So they go down there, and nothing has changed. All right, everything is exactly as it should be. The the orderlies are walking through. Everyone's still locked up. And when they confront Batman about it, like, everything seems fine. There's no footage of anyone being released. Batman says, that's not true. I know Bane's got a plan. He he sent my father, my father, to the Batcave. He hurt me. He hurt Alfred. Barbara Gordon breaks it to us that she just talked to Alfred recently. Alfred has no idea what he's talking about. So then everyone's starting to worry about Batman. Like, wait, what's what's going on, man? Are you all right? Maybe you should calm down a bit. And, you know, you haven't been the same since Catwoman. And Batman lashes out, punches Tim Drake. Bat family's freaked out. <gasps> and presumably they leave. We just then cut to Batman at the Batcave looking really sad. There's an intruder alert. Batman walks up there. He knows who it is. He knows that it's Bane. He's sitting at the table being served by Alfred as the Flashpoint Batman, Thomas Wayne, from, um, is just standing as a guard. And Batman is ready to throw down, but Bane, Bane doesn't really say anything other than telling Alfred to serve him soup. And Alfred later, Alfred comforts Bruce, saying like, look, I know I've served beside you all this time, because I knew eventually you'd win. I knew you could do it. But now you have to admit, you've lost. Bane has broken you. And that's how the comic ends. So, what's the problem with this issue? Well, because the way I just told you how this story happened is not how the story is presented. It constantly jumps back and forth, with the first scene being Batman getting an alert that an intruder is in the Batcave. And then, he, and then as he goes up there, we get the alert of the signal. So it goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Why is this a problem? Well, because it's kind of disjointed. And the idea is to believe that everyone's turned their back on Batman. Or, presumably, they think that he's crazy, or that, you know, he's something's not right with him. And the problem with this is, it doesn't feel earned, alright? I mean, why are they all convinced that Batman's not in the right frame of mind? Because none of them are talking about it. There's never been a moment where the Bat family talks about exactly what Bruce has been going through. They don't. Tom King wants to tell a Batman story, and then introduce the Bat family when, it, when, it, when it's convenient, but not when it serves the story. The the Bat Family turning against him could have been its own issue. It really should have been. And then the next issue dealing with the fallout of that, leading to the intruder in the Bat Intruder in Wayne Manor, which turns out to be Bane. That would have been much better. But instead, we got the Nightmare Story, which was a bunch of issues that, for the most part, didn't feel necessary. Like I'm not quite, I'm not quite sure how King expects to break Batman with his story. Um, there was an episode of Teen Titans that did this really well with. Robin thinking that Slade is back. Now, whether Slade is back or not is not really the issue. The issue is that it's still weighing heavily on in the events of his fight with Slade. So when everyone doesn't believe him, um, we see that the that the team is visibly shaken and worried about him. That could have helped. But that's not what this issue was. So, yeah, with the exception of the Nightmare story, the Ivy story... And the Booster Gold story, this is possibly my least favorite Batman issue. Which is a shame, because unlike all those, this one was super interesting. The Bat family's there. But I don't think King quite knows what to do with them, or how to make the story. Um, Daredevil recently had a really cool story, where Jessica Jones, Danny Rand, Luke Cage help, um, help Matt Murdock out. And then Spider-Man comes up and says, like, as of right now, you're done. You're done, Matt, alright? If you go out there, 
everyone I know, all of our friends, will stop you. Hang up the cowl, you're done. And I think that would have been really good. Imagine if Nightwing and uh, Red Hood had been called in, and it's those two that make the decision to bench Batman. They're going to say, as of right now, you're done. All right, they take the cow and say, if we find you going out there, the entire Bat family, led by us, will stop you. That would be great. The entire Bat family has decided not to answer his calls anymore. They know that something's not right. Well, maybe I'm just wrong. Anyway, with that in mind, let's bring this video close here. If you're new to the Bucket Think Tank, feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out some other videos on this channel. I will catch you all later. This is the Bucket Think Tank signing off. Thanks for watching. And as always, may your fandom serve you well.